Okay, we're gonna talk about Qigong walking. So, the Qigong walking is basically, one aspect is grabbing Qi with the hands, pulling it in, grabbing and pulling it in. So as you walk, you'll be grabbing the Qi and pulling it in. We're gonna do it with the breath. So you'll be inhaling with two steps. One, two, inhaling. The next step, you will exhale. So you do one step, inhale, then exhale. So then as we walk, we'll be grabbing the cheek, pulling it in. Pull it in and then release the cheek. So again, inhaling for two steps. One, two. And as we do that, grabbing the chi and pulling it in. So inhaling one, two, and then exhaling. And that's simply the walk. Inhaling for two steps and exhaling for one step. So that's the qigong walk. Now it's important that your spine is straight when you do the qigong walk and you do the complete breathing. So you're expanding the lower abdomen and then the middle lungs and the upper lungs and contracting the lower abdomen as you exhale. Now, uh, there's also some variations of that. So as we walk, we're gonna open up the bubbling water. It's the uh, acupoint center in the middle of the bottom of the foot here, right about here. And so you're gonna curl your toes up, okay, as you walk. And then the next one would be uh, the Bagua uh, sequence. So the Bagua sequence is as you walk, it's like your foot is stuck in the mud and you pull the, the foot up, okay? Stuck, like your foot is stuck and you have to lift it up. Okay? So that's another sequence that you can do. And you can also do these in circles. Bagua circles. Pretty easy to do. So the next sequence of steps is dragging the foot. So you're gonna drag the foot, you're gonna skim the foot. Okay, as you breathe. Just skimming the foot. So you're getting that stretch. Okay, with the breath. Okay, so the next, you can also do that in your bagua, skimming the foot. Next one is the slight kick. Okay, so slight kick with the breath. Slight kick. Okay, and you can also do the slight kick in Bagua circle. Uh, the, uh, this one here is, is sort of a natural movement. You can do this when you're walking down the street. It's kind of nice. No one will even know you're practicing. So, and then the next sequence would be, it's like stepping in quicksand. So you want to make sure that that shift the weight slowly onto the next foot, okay? It's like you're not sure if the ice is gonna break underneath your foot, so you have to be very careful as you shift, okay? So those are some, uh, some basic Qigong walking techniques and always balance the uh, Qigong walking techniques with still uh, meditative exercises, for instance a tree hugger position, relax the entire body, keep the back straight, breathe deep. Rate, comment, subscribe, thanks.